to this week's Menno. I am Troy Lydiot, and this is my co-host, Quinn Johnson. We are very happy to be here this week. It uh, actually is a pretty remarkable day. This is actually the first time the Menno has ever had a woman, eh? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty incredible. I mean, uh, it's just, it surprises me how they've never had a woman this year until now. I mean, Mel was there, I think, once last year, mm -hmm. and it's the men. Wow. Yeah. The men, what? Okay, well. I feel like they need to dominate everything. <laughs> She's you know. so sweet. But, yeah. Well, let's look at what we have going on this week. On Tuesday, October 1st, um, there is prop prayer at 9.30 p.m., so if you need any updates on that, we you can just check the Facebook. Um, for those of you who don't know which one, it's at, actually will be on my prop news feed. So once again, that's 9.30, be there. Everybody needs to get holy, right? So get to that prayer. Okay, and um, on Wednesday, October 2nd, ladies, ladies, I'm talking especially to you. Wise Wednesday, everyone. Wise Wednesday, ladies. Now, the men always think that they win at this. Now, let's get this straight. They don't. Because we all know we do. So, <laughs> she now, did oh. oh, so get your wives on. Get those dresses, those skirts, those dress pants. Wise it up, ladies. Wise it up. Make sure it's below the knees so it's holy. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Moving on, um, Common Ground in the SLC, 8 to 9 p.m. Not too sure what's going on. So if you want more information, find Sung Il. You know where he is at. And um, also, Wednesday, it's a busy day. It's a busy day. Incredibly busy um, day. Academic lectures going on. So um, at 1240, formulating um, the question slash argument that's happening. 130 is research. One, finding um, and identifying sources. And at 2.20 is research two, um, evaluating the using, evaluating and using resources. So be there, you need it. All right, and moving on to Thursday, October 3rd. Everyone's been waiting for it. The coffee house is finally <laughs> happening. We had to push it back. Uh, just another another week, I think it was, but now it's finally happening. So, if you have a talent or, or a, a talent or something you just want to share, um, it can be it can literally be anything. Yeah. But, you know, if, if you think it's cool, then we will too. Oh, so, yeah. bring it out to the coffee house. It'll be at seven thirty in the SLC. It'll be in the is it called the Howison Room? Yeah. It'll mm -hmm. be right in there, yeah. the place with all the big windows. Mm -hmm. And coming out, it's it's. It's a lot of fun. I mean, there's some pretty solid rappers there. They're there. Um, yeah. We got some some cool musicians. We got some people that do poetry. Oh, yeah. Anything under the sun. I mean, mm -hmm. I heard this year there might be a guy with chainsaws. That would wow. be messy. I okay. mean, really? That'll cool. be messy, but That's fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo. So uh, it should be good. Yeah. So come yeah. on out to that. Yeah. Oh, just another disclaimer here. You might see uh, a couple of us around this campus wearing these brand new hats. Prop snapbacks, and you know that Woo! all the urban kids are wearing those. So make sure you go get one in, in the bookstore. Go find uh, Bookstore Bruce, and they're $24.99. Perfect Ooh. deal for snapbacks. Very days. nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like that. I like that. Okay, and on Friday, October 4th, there is Old Commuter Potluck, and it's for Thanksgiving. I mean, they, they bring in this food, and they make the entire hallway smell really good. And it's only and for commuters. They tell us we can't come. <laughs> yeah. they tell us that they, I mean, really. <laughs> Aren't they ridiculous? I mean, Gina, why would you do that to us? Uh, I mean, really. It's just, it just cuts right here. Just right. But it's all know? about community, yeah. eh? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, be there. All commuters, go. All of you. Even if you're not in the collegium, you can go. So, go. I mean, I would too. Is it pronounced collegium or collegium? I'm wondering. I think we could have a debate on that. Really. We could have a debate on that. Yeah. Okay. And also on Friday, the big yellow bus to mm -hmm. St. Patel. Line up, y'all. It's at 5.30. I don't, you know, just be there. Be there sharp. Sharp. 5.30 or before that. Even if it's you're better to be international or not. I just say, you know, use your elbows 
and just get on there. Throw them bows. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, also, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Is that dance workshop? Oh, you'll yeah. see me there. <laughs> Wearing his tights, yo. Uh, um. <laughs> they're, they're there. Oh, yes. <laughs> tights, probably not. Oh, uh, well, that's debatable. Okay, and it's uh, $45. It's a workshop with Brent Lott. Um, okay. It's actually accredited as well. Um, whether you pass or fail, which means whether you're good or bad at dancing, you will get one single credit. Uh, it's forty-five dollars for the workshop. So, all of you who have you know have been in the dark a little bit with your love for contemporary and ballet, now's your time to shine, and you get a credit for it. So, those of you who need one credit, why not? Only forty-five dollars. Only forty-five dollars. Here you go. All right, and now to Saturday, October fifth, at ten a.m. The workshop that happened earlier in the week um, for the Winnipeg Contemporary Dancers, it will be the second half of it. So for those of you who have stuck with it, who have fought it out, and have just enjoyed your time, this will be your final opportunity to, to complete the workshop and get your single credit. Once again, like I said, pass or fail, you will get one single credit for prof students. And, and I'm not entirely sure if that means seminary as well, but uh, that's something that you probably have to look into the people that are organizing that. Um, in the afternoon, the pilots, women's and men team, men's teams, will be hosting uh, a game, our, a game against our bitter rival CMU Blazers. You must be there. We need yes. as many fans out there as as, as we can get. Um, the women will be playing at 12 o'clock, so please be there at 11:30 and get your seats. Make sure we cheer on the women. Um, mm -hmm. They're having a fantastic start to the season. Um, as far as I know, they're undefeated. And same Whoa. with our men's team. Fantastic starts to the season. And um, I just want to see a sea of blue. Um, oh, yeah. Can we not get yeah. the, the blue man crew oh. back? Or? Get out there, guys. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I mean, there may, there may be the, the opportunity for someone to make themselves into a mascot. I mean, yeah. we're, we're pilots. So Justin Harvey, I'm looking at you. Justin Harvey. You're the, yeah. you're the tallest. Yeah. You got a nice round head, yeah. perfect size to put a big old. He he has a fro, a blue thing. fro. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. So oh, come on out, get out there. your pilots. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. And on Sunday, October sixth, seven to nine p.m. will be International Gym Night. Indoor shoes, everyone. You need your indoor shoes mm -hmm. for that because it's in the gym. So. You need your. We want to keep the gym clean. It looks really yeah. nice, and the guys that work on it to, to clean the floors and everything, yeah. they do a whole lot of work. So please bring in our shoes, mm -hmm. non marking, yeah. and have a great totally. time. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He said, yeah, a lot. <laughs> All righty. Monday, October 7th at 9 30 in Bergen Main Lounge, it is the opportunity to grill your prof. We will have Keith Hillier. Karen Sinabaka, Nicholas Greco, Patricia Jansen Lowen. So come prepared with questions, guys. Um, I think you can pretty much ask them anything under the sun, as far as I know. Um, obviously, things that are educated questions and, and things that, that, that really challenge the mind of a college student, seminary student, and things pertaining to the world that we live in today. So it's a great opportunity to learn from some incredibly intelligent people, totally. um, some people that have definitely honed their craft. Mm -hmm. They're called professors for a reason, right? Yeah. So. Might as well take that opportunity to gain some knowledge from some uh, highly qualified people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's all we have for tonight. This has been an honor. Once again, my name is Troy Lydiot. I'm Quinn Johnson, first girl on the meadow this year. Well, <laughs> we will see you guys maybe sometime soon. This has been a great opportunity. Great. Keep flying, pilots.